Hello again, I have a case video here for the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. This case is from Spigen or Spigen, and it is Slim Armor Pro. I always say Spigen, so I'm gonna go with that. And it's made for the 9 Pro Fold, and it is a pretty kind of popular go-to case. If you want hinge protection for a foldable, you can get on Amazon for $69.99, and there's a 5% coupon attached to it. Now I will say one of the things that struck me when I bought it was that the um, actual reviews are pretty negative and this usually has pretty positive reviews. So I was kind of curious about it. One of the complaints about the case this year is that the front portion keeps falling off. So let's go ahead and check it out. So you open it up, you get the case itself, the back cover portion, and then there's the front cover, the front portion of the case here has some instructions on how to put it on there and some extra stick stickers stickies there because you'll need those if you keep pulling it off and on and a lens and screens protector which is interesting because it doesn't come with a screen protector but they include that anyway and again 69.99 on amazon right now there's like a five percent coupon and so there's that so i've been using um the the official google case with it with a little pop socket on the back so far, it's worked okay. It's a little slippery. It's hard plastic. Um, what I like about this case, it's kind of a go-to when I had the Z Fold 5, um, and I reviewed that this case for that phone. It's like a matte feel to it or like a kind of a rubber grippy feel to it. So it doesn't, um, it's not like a hard plastic. Like the back of the official Google case is kind of a slippery hard plastic, which is why I have this here. Um, and it has the hinge protection. So that's the good thing about it. It does have stickies all around it, but I paid for this with my own money and I'm not sure if I want to commit yet, but I definitely wanted to review it here, but we'll check it out. <clears throat> and so that portion goes on good, easy. The back there, it has stickies all the way around. Check out the cutouts, those are good, all right? And then you have also volume and the power buttons are, are pretty well exposed as per usual most of these cases have this uh exposed here and more cutouts on the side yep, everything's good let's go ahead and put the front cover on so this is a the complaint uh, that most people have is the front cover so it does feel a little bit loose from what i can tell um okay so it does have pretty good uh protection there as far as the thickness of it it, it seems to really um provide some good protection it's got like a rubbery feel to it. This front cover is kind of more of a rubber than a hard plastic. So it's a little different than this one here from the official Google case. In some ways, I would think this would offer a little more protection, but yeah, it's interesting. I, I don't, these are usually pretty flimsy, but I don't usually see like a rubbery feel to it. So it seems a little bit, it works well with the screen protector there. It doesn't bow it up or anything. The complaint was it wasn't a good fit. And I can kind of see that. I mean, if I were to take the stickies off, it wouldn't be. Okay, the cutouts are fine. Um, cutouts are fine there. So the complaint primarily was that it wasn't sticking. The adhesive didn't stick properly. And when you opened it, it does that. So it comes off. Um, I'll go ahead and try to put the stickies on just to see if I can get it to, to properly function. But that does seem a little bit odd that it would that it would do that. Let me go ahead and take all this off here. And at least Amazon sent me a new case this time. Sometimes they send me used cases, like the last one I reviewed. Okay, so and then we'll take this portion off here. I could I does it does feel pretty loose, I gotta be honest. Um it feels a little wobble a little big, just based on the official case, let's see if the size comparison there. Yeah, maybe it's just the material. So let's see how, how it sticks. Um, we'll take this portion off here. And it's a lot of stickers. Okay, and they're get really stuck to your hands too. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of pop it on here and if that helps. And yeah, so the, the, the issue that a lot of people have on the reviews was that it doesn't stick properly. And again, 3.3 stars out of five is pretty low for this case because this is a pretty solid case. It was one of my favorite cases 
for the um, Z Fold 5 because of the hinge protection. And it doesn't add too much bulk. Although I will say this does feel a little bit thick. It does make it a little thicker. So if you like that real slim form factor, like the uh, thin born type cases, then this might not be the case for you, but it does offer hinge protection. So that's what you're sacrificing there. And it, it does feel pretty grippy in the hand, although it does add a little bit of weight to it. I gotta, I gotta be honest, it does seem a little bit bulky. Okay, so no, it's it, it works well with the adhesive. So a lot of folks in the reviews were complaining that this portion came off. And it says, some people said it was after a while, so you might need to, to do that for a little bit, like, you know, popping it open and closed just to see if that works for you. But it does offer the hinge protection. So you see there, it kind of bows like across the screen a little bit. So when you close it, it's even. And then as you open it up, it kind of comes across a little bit the front screen there. So you'll see that kind of pop over a little bit. But if you want something with hinge protection that isn't like a super heavy duty type of case, um, something along the lines of Poetic or Subcase. They also make cases for this phone. And if you want something a little grippy and you don't mind the bulk that it adds to it, I think, I mean, from what I can tell, it seems okay. I The complaints were that this pops off, but it, I don't see it happening as soon as I put the adhesive on. It wasn't an issue. So maybe you just need to make sure you really pop that adhesive. Like you stick it like pretty strongly, firmly. With my fingers, I was pushing down on it. Um, the proof is going to be the use and how long it lasts, but it does seem to be, um, pretty solid. That cut out there on the mic is a little bit, a little tight, but it seems okay. And I haven't put the adhesive on the bottom, but the bottom is sticking just fine. And yeah, see there, the cuts, cutouts are fine there. Okay. Well, yeah, I think it's a solid enough option. Uh, if you don't mind the price, I think $70, $70 is way overpriced for this. I think, you know, I'd feel comfortable paying maybe 50, obviously less if possible. 50 seems about 49.99 would be I think ideal price. Apparently it was $100 when it first came out. Some people in the reviews had commented that they wasted $100 because it wasn't um they didn't feel like it was uh working for them too well cuz the front kept popping off. So, 69.99 I mean, it's unfortunate, but these foldables are really expensive. These foldable cases are really expensive. And I think the companies that make them kind of take advantage of the fact that these phones are expensive and they kind of figure, well, you're going to pay for it anyway. Um, but I could recommend this if it's going to stick. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing the complaints that other people are having. I do see that this is a little bit like if you notice. It's popped up a little bit there. So maybe I need to just squeeze that down a little more, make sure the adhesive sticks, or maybe that's kind of the beginning of the problem that people are talking about. So yeah, I mean, I'm not shy about returning things if they don't work out to Amazon. Um, I notice now they have questions as to, you know, like kind of to discourage the returns, but to be honest, um, you know, I think if it's not really going to work for you, then don't go ahead and return it. Yeah, when I push down on it, it lines up much better. You see that microphone there? It's this one right here where I think it wasn't quite lined up. But now that I push down on it, and it's just time will tell if it keeps popping back up or not. Let me check the other side. Sorry about that. Yeah, see, same thing here. So, yeah, I think maybe you want to kind of make sure if you get this case to push the adhesive down a little bit. Make sure that it's it's really stuck there. But anyhow, okay, well, that's all for this one. I think it's I think it's solid enough. Just kind of monitor it over time. I think it's a 30-day return window on Amazon. So if it starts doing what people are complaining about, like the front cover portion starts popping off too easily, uh, then you know, go ahead and do that. But if you want the hinge protection, which might offer maybe even a little more dust protection as well, because it'll cover these portions here where, you know, you can potentially get dust in between, then this isn't a bad option. Um, you know, it's your standard Spigen quality, which I think is a pretty solid. Overall, I think Spigen makes pretty good cases. 
Um, you know, you just got to find one to your liking. Okay, well, that's all for now. I hope you're well. I hope your family's well. And uh, that's my sort of mini review of the Spigen Slim Armor Pro. All right, take care of yourself. Bye.